Hi, I'm Chuck, and today not only do I get to teach you how to make your own No Place Left logo, but I also get to talk about some movement principles as we see the kingdom advance, as we preach the gospel until there's no place left. So the first thing that you want to do is download the PowerPoint template, and the place that you can get that is www.juio.com. Net. And so go there, and once you get to the website, you're going to look for No Place Left Maps, and just click on the top one. And then right here in the lower right-hand corner, you can download the free PowerPoint template to make your logo. And then once you make it, go ahead and post it on Facebook, send it to us, and we'll put you on the map. So once you've downloaded the PowerPoint, then you'll see some of the uh, norms that we have established for the logo. There's basically no rules for the logo, but this, these norms help people to easily recognize what our movement stands for and who we are. All right, so why logos? Because uh, it's a very small thing, but for some reason, God's using this in a powerful way to help us cast vision and develop an ethos of no place left. Paul's statement in Romans 15, 23, where he says there's no place left to preach the gospel in that particular region, so he's going to move on. It's become our mantra of no place left in the world. Every man, woman, and child hears the gospel and has the uh, opportunity to respond to Jesus. Now, to my knowledge, there's only three of us making logos right now, so if we get hit by the chicken truck, the logo making stops, and that's not good for a movement on any level. With movements, it, everything we do needs to be simple and highly reproducible, including logos. <laughs> so now what our emphasis is on evangelism, disciple making, church planning, and leadership development. But if we can get this thing so simple that even the logos can be reproduced, then we'll be good. So now almost every American knows how to use PowerPoint, at least uh, ages 50 and below. And so if we can get a hundred logo makers out there, then uh, we can make logos for those few that don't know PowerPoint. And then everybody gets to play. And that's part of a movement is that everybody gets to join in. It's that simple. All right. We talked about some of the norms that we have for our, our, uh, our logo. Uh, basically not rules, but guidelines and suggestions. You have freedom to do whatever you want, but we do want you to be mindful of a couple things. Number one, be mindful of copyrighted materials. Don't get yourself in trouble. Number two, the logo that you make for your city today will be seen by the world tomorrow. So we don't want to be paralyzed by political correctness. We're, would be good to be sensitive to what message you're sending to other cultures. So weapons of war, local sports team, those kind of things that may be divisive, you probably want to leave out. But most importantly, the logo represents our, our vision and ethos. You can have a logo and not be practicing what the vision and ethos is, and it does you no good. So <laughs> let's make sure that our lifestyles match up with what this logo represents, that we are preaching the gospel, making disciples, planting churches, and developing the next generation of leadership. And we strongly encourage you to stay connected to other practitioners and take full advantage of all the ongoing training opportunities that are available. So let's get on with it and make a logo. First, some of the things we talk about that keep this logo easily recognizable with the No Place Left movement. The first is a map pen for No Place Left. That's this orange outline. Then your location, the No Place Left hashtag, 
and then your city skyline or landmark. Then this dove represents the person of peace, the house of peace that we're searching for to share the gospel with. And then you have the fish, and this stands for Jesus' call to us to be fishers of men. And that's the basic norms of the logo. Now we go to slide two. Click on slide two over here, and this is where we're going to build our logo. So the first thing we're going to do is make a copy and save this. So if we get messed up, we can always have a brand new copy and start all over again. All right. Now, once I've made my copy, then I'm going to come over here and drag my picture of what I want to build my logo with. And notice that the picture is super big, so I'm going to have to resize that. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the corners here just to drag and resize the picture. And I'm, I really want to keep this uh, Ferris wheel in the picture here because I'm going to cut some of this picture out because it's too big. And so I size it up with the grids and I'm just going to fit the picture in to the grid. And it may take you a couple of times to get that resizing just right. And again, try not to use those. Uh, I went a little bit too far. Okay. All right. So now it's lined up with the grids. And what I need to do now, because this picture is a little too big, is I need to crop it. So look for your cropping tool. Now, I'm using a Mac, so when you look at PowerPoint for PCs, it may look a little bit different. But the key is find the cropping tool, click on it, and you'll notice these little cropping handles. Just drag the cropping handle, line it up with the grid. And then click off here into the white and it'll get rid of the cropping tool. All right, that looks good. Now that the picture is lined up with the grid, we can get rid of that. So just click on the grid. It's all grouped together. So just hit delete and the grid is gone. And we can go to slide three for the next step. So what I'm going to do the rest of the way through this is just copying and pasting. So I'm going to click the outside of the gray and you'll notice that I have this white square with a circle that pops up. I want to copy that, go back to slide two and paste. So so it's made the, the picture into a nice circle here. All right, now what I want to do is go down to slide four. And I want to start copying and pasting these elements, the text, no place left. So I click on it once, but you're going to have to click on it twice in order to select it. And then I'm going to copy it. Don't cut it because you may make a mistake and have to go back and go back to slide two and paste. And notice it pastes right in the right place. You can adjust it later if it doesn't, but normally it goes right to the right place. Okay, select New Zealand, the location. Remember, you got to click on it twice to select it. Copy it back up to slide two and paste. Now if I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video. Okay, now it's black and that probably need to change the color so it looks better. So I go over here to my font, change the color of the font. The outline is black, that doesn't look so good. So I come over here to the line and change that color as well. And now New Zealand except for one thing this is Dubai <laughs> so I need to change the text and notice it's all caps so I change it to Dubai go back down to slide four and what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this grid here because this is gonna let you know whether or not your text is properly lined up go back to slide two and paste it 
and you'll notice that the no place left is centered and online and Dubai is centered online so that's good we don't need the grid anymore so you can just delete that all right let's go to slide five and now we're going to copy our dove and our fish I'm going to copy back up to slide two paste all right, there we go, back down to slide five. Let's select our fish, copy, back up to slide two, paste. All right, now we have our dove and our fish, and we'll, I can move these around wherever I want. All right, good, so we're done with that. Let's go to slide six. In slide six, we're gonna uh, pick up our map marker we selected, copy it, go back up to slide two, and you guessed it, paste. Now we have our map marker. That's looking pretty good, but you see these little imperfections on the side. No problem. We go down to slide seven, and we're going to copy this circle and this is going to take care of those imperfections. Back to slide two where our logo is being built. Paste. Boom. Now it looks really nice. All right. So we've got a, just a few more things to do. We go down to slide eight. You're not going to do anything with slide eight. It's just going to remind you to group all the graphics that are on slide two and then save it as one single graphic. So we go back up to slide two. Now you can select with the mouse by dragging the mouse all the way over it. Notice it selects everything. You wanna make sure you get the whole area or you can hit command A and that'll select everything on the slide and then this is a, a little bit tricky. <laughs> What you want to do is right click on it and save as uh, first you want to group. Okay, so first group it and that'll make it all one graphic. And then again, a right click and save as a picture. All right, I'm going to title this No Place Left Dubai. And I want to save it to my desktop. It's going to be a PNG. You can save it as a JPEG as well. Save. I already have it, so it's going to replace it. And here it is. There's my JPEG or PNG that I can post on Facebook, email, or whatever. And I have my logo. Now, the really cool things about uh, PowerPoint is that you can do amazing things just with PowerPoint. Transparency, shadows, circles, overlays. We basically just cut and paste or copied and paste a bunch of layers and built our logo. So you can make some amazing logos, just be creative and you know the sky's the limit. This is one of my favorite logos. It's New Zealand. And my friend Phil down there in New Zealand, a no place left practitioner, is battling with cancer. I just want you to take the opportunity right now to pray for miraculous healing for my friend Phil. And as you make your logo, think of him and pray for him because we want him to keep laboring in the kingdom. He's a dear friend. We love him and pray for him. All right. So now you know how to make your own logo, make your own, make uh, logos for other people, and it's no place left. Sharing the gospel, making disciples, planting churches, developing the next generation of laborers until there's no place left on the planet.